Alright guys, welcome or welcome back, whichever it may be for you. So in today's video we got another tutorial, but this time it's going to be on Ride the Lightning. I know not everybody knows how to do it, and we do have a lot of new players playing the game now, so I'll go ahead and walk you guys through the mission and show you guys how I built the base. With that said, we're going to go ahead and do this 116 Ride the Lightning, I will do it solo, and I'm going to be a constructor again. If you haven't seen my last tutorial, I recommend you go check it out, it walks you through Deliver the Bomb and there's a lot of good information in that video. With that said, let's just go ahead and hop right into it, and I'll show you guys how to play it. Alright, the first thing that I'm going to want to do is go ahead and find some blue glow. I know Ride the Lightning takes four, two for each defense that we're going to have to defend against, and there's going to be a total of two defenses. With that said, let's just go ahead and make some weapons, and then start finding some blue glow. Alright, so now that that's done, we found the van. Let's just go ahead and kill these husks. Once these are taken out, we'll go ahead and make sure there's nothing else standing close by. Once everything is killed, we'll probably just go ahead and take out a lot of these trees and stuff. Anything that's in the way, so we can just build and block off what we need to. And uh, we got a pretty good spot right here, so let's go ahead and get started. Actually, this encampment is pretty close, so we'll just go ahead and take this out before we get started. Alright, now that all the husks are killed, let's just go ahead and start clearing the area, getting rid of all these big trees and the rocks and stuff. Anything that's close by that you think is going to be in the way, go ahead and take it out. Doesn't matter how you do it, if you're a constructor, just go ahead and place your uh, turret down. Easiest way. Once this is done, we'll just go ahead and start building. Alright, so the first thing I like to do when I start building is place my base down in this blank spot. A lot of people usually do a 2x1, which is like the L build on this. But I'm going to tell you now that I completely disagree with that. You should always do a 2x2 two two on ride the lightning, it's just better that way. Also, if you're a constructor, it just makes the perfect spot for your base. Your base will reach everything, except for the top part if you completely block it off. About, what is it, 3 high, 4 high, but normally 2 high is more than enough for most missions. If you are doing a 4x or a 5x build and you're a little bit scared of lobbers and flingers, go ahead and block the top off, but just for normal missions, 2 high is more than enough. Alright, so there is this tiny piece of terrain right here that the husks could walk on. It's not really a big issue. There's a million ways you could counter that. I'll go ahead and show you guys how I counter it in this mission. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and put my floors and slants on every side of the base. There's really no downside to putting the floors and slants. I know smashers charge the slants now. But it's still extra protection and it still helps launch other things back. So I'm going to go ahead and put them anyway. You do not want to put slants in, like on the terrain side, so because they could just walk on it anyway it's a waste of metal so I'll just go ahead and put a floor trap and then the wall trap there that way if they do decide to walk onto it from the top it's, it's fine it's no big deal this is pretty much the whole build you don't really need to do a whole lot more but if you are doing four times missions or you're scared of the lobbers just go ahead and build up a little bit higher Alright, so normally I don't, but in this case, since it is a tutorial, I'll go ahead and show you guys what I meant by building higher or blocking it off. You just go an extra layer high, I believe this is 3 from the ground. So just go ahead and block the top off, not complicated. Once that's done, it's just continue upgrading.
all right let's go ahead and finish upgrading the top part up here though before you knock down these stairs just go ahead and place your anti-air traps up here it's the easy way to just defend against lobbers and flingers technically but once that's done we'll just go ahead and place our traps down on the base alright as always we will place our floor launchers under the slants and keep it going Alright, for those of you that do not know, if you edit a window, you can still place a sound wall and access the window. Now that you know that, let's just go ahead and continue with the sound walls. Alright, for these terrain sides, every time that I can't put a floor launcher and a slant, I'm going to just go ahead and use tar pits. They stop smashers from charging the walls and pretty much stop everything else. I'm going to go ahead and put darts on my walls. I usually put darts unless it's like a one tile, then I will use dynamos. And this tile here, I just like to always have one tile for campfires. It's a safe place. If I need health, I'll just stand there for health. Alright, so I pretty much always put anti-air traps on those two spots. But if you do have a team that's using constructors and they want to put their base up there, or you're using defenders, that's fine too. But since this is solo, I'm just going to go ahead and place my anti-air traps. Now my wooden floor spikes is not mandatory, mine just have heels attached building every like 10 seconds or so, so I'm just going to go ahead and use it. That's not mandatory, but with my power base knocks and the healing from the traps, it's just going to be impossible for anything to break these slants. Again, not mandatory. Alright, if you guys seen my last video, you know that I do not really like to trap the base itself. Basically what I like to do is small trap tunnels and or kill boxes. It's just a better way to play the game. The goal is to kill as many husks as you can before they get to your base. You are the last line of defense for the base. Let the traps do all the work. Alright, so we do have a couple spawn points over here, but that's really not a big deal. I'll just place a few traps over the spawn, so anything that does spawn up here will either die or get severely weakened. Alright, so since I already looked at the spawns, I know anything that spawns on this side will pretty much be forced to walk through this little alleyway. I'm just going to go ahead and turn it into a little trap tunnel. Normally, I like to do something smaller, like 2x1s or 2x2s. But since I know they're pretty much going to be forced to walk through here, I know no trap will get wasted. With that said, I'm just going to let this play at normal speed for now. Once the traps are placed, I'll go ahead and fast forward for the upgrading. I will do a separate video on trap builds I like to do in missions. But since this is a tutorial on how to build the Ride the Lightning base, I'm not going to put a whole lot of time into the trap tunnels. But feel free to copy it if you want it. Alright, so there is one flaw with this location, probably because it's on this river right here, but I did just see a husk smacking this, so I may destroy that floor before we get started with the actual mission, but for now I'll just leave it and start trapping this other side. Alright, now normally I would block off the terrain part, and a lot of people would as well, and you definitely can, but since I went over that earlier, I know there's no way that they would destroy my base from the top if they do want to come up here. Basically, they'll just walk onto my tar pits I placed earlier, so I'm not worried about that at all. So right here, I'm just going to do my standard kill box. It's effective at pretty much any level. And even if they did make it through this, like I said earlier, I'm not worried about it. I know they won't be able to walk on my base. They'll just walk off into the tar pits. 
all right so like i said earlier this is a flaw in this location so i'm just gonna go ahead and destroy this i know i already placed the trap down but i know if i don't they're just gonna smack it anyway and it might also throw off the husks padding so i want them to walk through the tunnel so i'm just gonna go ahead and destroy it Alright, so I don't normally trap the spawns, but in this certain situation I will. I'm going to go ahead and use ceiling electric fields, but you can use drop traps as well if you choose to do so. With that said, let's just go ahead and block off or trap up this other side because it actually looks like we have a lot of good space right here. This is pretty much the only other way they can come besides the side that we already trapped, so I know they're going to come through here. Alright, so this recycling build that I'm doing right here is probably one of the better builds in the game. It does cost more mats and it does cost more traps, but if you really don't mind that, this is probably one of the best things you can use. Not much will ever make it through here, and there is a bunch of variations you can do with this. You could make it a 3x2, you can make it a 3x3, you could make it a 2x2, it just kind of depends on your location. Since this little spot right here is 3 tiles wide and I don't want to block anything else off, I'm going to just make it a 3x2. Anything that comes through here will likely die. I doubt even smashers will make it through at this level. But with that said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish trapping this up and put my sound walls on the front. That way nothing blows my tunnels up and we should be pretty good for the most part. Alright, let's go ahead and start the first of the two defenses. Um, I will play it in 2 times speed for the most part, but if I feel like I need to show something in normal speed, I will. But with that said, I'll see you guys on the second defense, and I'll just let it play out. Alright, so before you do start the second defense, go ahead and double check your spawn points. Make sure they didn't change. If they did change, go ahead and block off and trap what you need to. With that said though, if they did break anything on your base or your trap tunnels, go ahead and repair it before you start. In my case, it did break a couple traps, but it's really not a big deal. I'll just go ahead and place them back down. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and place some anti-air traps just in case we do get lobbers. Pretty often, the second wave of Red Lightning is going to be flingers and lobbers. It does happen a lot. So I know nothing's going to make it through the trap tunnels, but just to make sure, I'm going to go ahead and use the air traps so lobbers can't destroy me either. Alright, so if you guys made it to this point in the video, I'd really appreciate it if you went ahead and liked and subscribed. It means a ton, and it helped me out a lot. With that said though, I'm going to go ahead and let this play out. Probably two times speed. Like I said, if I feel like I need to slow it down for something, I will. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.